just a, a quick introduction. I am here as a, a experienced master, they say, and uh, when uh, Mr. Polman uh, invited me to this conference, I was very, very happy and very proud to be here, uh, just to, to talk about uh, personal uh, feeling, experience, challenge as a, um, as a seaman. I hear from this morning many experts, very, uh, and I am very proud to talk to a, to a so high level uh, audience. Uh, from this morning we are talking about uh, uh, this challenge, bigger ship, bigger challenge. Uh, I can tell you that uh, from master side point of view, the ship that is normally at the sea, at the open sea, no? the ship bigger or smaller, give us the same headache, eh? the same challenge. You have to, to take care of a seaman life, you have to take care of the uh, environment, you have to back home, you have to take care of the ship and their cargo. Okay? The priority are uh, like I tell you. Okay? Then you are uh, arriving in a port. Uh, when you arrive in a port, you have to prepare the ship for arrival. You have to organize uh, the team, the bridge team, the mooring team, engine team. Then you have to consider a contingency plan. That is the most important. Now we are uh, handling this uh, huge ship. This uh, somebody called Giant. Eh? These ships uh, with uh, about 20 crew members. It's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, because uh, uh, something that we never mentioned from this morning, and this is more or less what I disagree with everybody, we, we didn't talk about the safety. The big ships, if are not well ended by the master, by the crew, by the pilot, that are uh, also a very, is a very important point, I think, in... Uh, in uh, our, uh, our uh, um, um, life, let's say, our business, eh? the pilot. If are not well, uh, well handled, the bigger ship is a bigger risk for the port. You can imagine a ship that is uh, going to, to sunk or uh, terrorist attack in the Suez Canal. What happened? It's not just a small boat that you tow, you take apart, and then you can transit. You are blocking everything. This is one of the headaches we have. When we arrive in the port, when we approach the port, and you can imagine, I, I let you imagine to stay on the bridge of a ship like this. Four football fields. This morning I was uh, walking uh, close to the Hamburg team that uh, uh, I like football. Eh? You can imagine four of these fields, each other. Eh? Now we are, we are talking about the bridge forward. We are talking about uh, <laughs> more, uh, more uh, tears in high. We are, we are talking about more rows in the wide. Eh? Uh, last week I was in, uh, in, uh, in Italy talking with the Pilots Association and the uh, Ports Association. And then uh, the representative from Ports Association told me, how is possible we as a port can run behind you that every two years increase the size of your ships? And he was just talking with an MSC man. Eh? I say, sorry, but it's the business, it's the, it's the, the uh, world 
trade that are, uh, is asking us to, to do this. But we never talk about uh, the seamen. We, today, I hear also, we are, uh, somebody is talking about uh, unmanned ships. Okay. Well, as a master, I can tell you that uh, I believe that it's very long time to come. Uh, the ship technology is always welcome. I am, uh, I am uh, uh, a young, old seaman, okay? <laughs> because I always accept the, the technology. But we have not to forget that uh, today, uh, one of the most, one of the most uh, frequent cause of, 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 of damages is the, is the technology. The technology need, still need the human uh, input. I am today training uh, manager at MSC and uh, we, we merge the two things. We are uh, doing uh, training talking about, tec about technology, but uh, always connected to our 30 years experience. Because otherwise people don't know where to look. Today, today when you go on board the ship, you have to take care. Today, we, it's easy to design a new, a new ship. It's easy to build a new ship. I don't know how, how it's easy to build a new gantry or, uh, or to, to build a new, a new terminal, I don't know. There are uh, some ports around the world that are showing us that uh, is, uh, they, they, they can build faster a new terminal than a new ship. But there are some others that, uh, for a uh, logistic problem, eh? uh, for, for them it's not easy. That's why, maybe, maybe that's why we cannot call uh, so many ports. So why we are always talking about to increase the size of the ships? We want to close the smaller ports. Can we? Can we? Can we talk about, uh, eh? Mr. Bergman? Can we talk about? Uh, 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 I raise my my hand when uh, you talk about the fifteen thousand. I'm. I can tell you that I will be very happy on the 15,000, even, uh, even uh, uh, we are talking about uh, 360 or more uh, meters land over our ship. Now it doesn't change so much. I, if I tell you 400 meters land over all, you say, oh, quite big. But if I tell you 399.5, what's changing? But 300 already is giving us a different, uh, a different idea. Eh? So there are ports that are accepting uh, 399 meters land overall. There are ports that are accepting 400 meters land overall. We are the ones that we have to go up and down from A to B, from A to B. We are not, I used to say that we are not, we are not uh, uh, even, uh, it's, I believe that it's quite, uh, quite a dangerous job. We are not, train drivers, we are at sea. We have to manage so many different scenarios. We have to manage so many uh, particular uh, 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 conditions, the weather conditions. Today, you cannot, you, maybe you don't believe me if I tell you that in some uh, loading condition, we need to stop the ship even if it's a, a giant like this, 19,000 tiers, sometimes we need to stop the ship behind the coast because it's too dangerous to transit if the weather conditions are in a, a particular, uh, uh, let's say, conditions. Eh? So the ship, the ship uh, how, how, how far we are, how, where, where we can go, I believe that uh, the, ships, uh, will, the ship sites will still continue to grow, but uh, 
I hope that, uh, that we can uh, stop for a while. Because we need, we need the most important, I repeat, the safety. We didn't talk about the safety. Because we need to grow up new Siemens, to grow up new masters, new engineers, new electricians, eh? new seamen professionals. Today we are in lack of. We cannot think we can uh, grow on the, in, uh, with the, in a number of ships without caring of people that are handling it. Okay? Thank you very much.